So, pass through sockets are always getting a bad rap. Here's just a perfect example of where you need a pass through socket. So these bolts are too close to the flange for a ratcheting wrench to work. Now most of these I got with a wrench, but this one, because this idle clamp gets installed over it, can't use a ratcheting wrench, can't really use a regular wrench because this is in the way. But the pass through socket will get down over that bolt and then go in so you can tighten it. So let's talk about why. It's not like the my regular shallow sockets weren't hitting the stud. That wasn't the problem. Working on this engine swap today. And I just wanted to take a moment because I came across a couple people who were saying that a pass-through ratchet was junk. So here we have a pass-through ratchet. You can see it's the second longest of these three. This is a Proto by Blackhawk or Blackhawk by Proto. Where is Iclop? And this is, I think, the clutch gearless ratchet. If we go down and look at them all in all, you'll see like, this is obviously the tallest one. It's a little bit taller than the wearer, but I don't know, by an eighth of an inch. You know, this one has the rotating feature where the handle rotates around it, which is nice to have, get you out of a pickle. But if you don't have a lot of room, this is the biggest one. The wearer is the second biggest one. The thing about the wear is, is they have the lock feature on 15 degrees and then the locking feature on 90, which makes them really good nut drivers, which is awesome. I like the way this ratchet feels. That's why it's so dirty. I use it a lot. Then you have the gearless ratchet. There's no teeth in it. It takes hardly any pressure to turn it. I love it, especially if you have something broken loose. You can't quite get it with your fingers, but your regular ratchet, it's just sitting there going back and forth because there's no teeth, there's no back drag, and this gets it off. Let's talk about the gearless ratchet. What's going on with it, right? It's the shortest ratchet of all of these, just by design. You can see that the actual ratchets on the gearless and the pass-through are about the same size, but it's the socket that gets you. And you can even get shorter sockets than this, but it still doesn't compete. And I've actually known a few people to file these down and make them even shorter, just to get them, you know, couples, spots on a job that hey maybe you only do it once a year but you've got the socket to do it and that's you know it's not a bad idea and the main thing about the pass-through um the way they marketed them is like hey if you have a long stud they'll stick through it and that does hold some weight uh, i recently used pass-through sockets to get out glow plugs on a duramax 66 and deep wells wouldn't have worked so that's another case where pass-throughs would work really well but I definitely don't think it's a gimmick socket. I think it's kind of a niche and it, um, when you need it, it works well. And honestly, you could use this as a regular ratchet every day. The kit that Gear Inch sells is really nice that comes with it. You get extensions that come with it. And let's see here, yep. That are also hollow. There's a, there's a few situations where pass-throughs have come in handy for me. Um, one is removing the bottom nut from an Oleo strut. For that, I use my 3 8 pass-through set, and I will stack a couple of 6 8 extensions just to get over it. But that's another case where a deep well wouldn't work. But yeah, the, the whole argument of the pass-through socket set kind of being dead and it being a gimmicky tool, I am 100% against that. It may be marketed kind of gimmicky, but the tool itself and the way it functions, definitely not a gimmick. I highly recommend getting a pass-through set. Hey, let's put some eye candy in the frame for you. So this particular is a quarter inch drive from Gear Inch. There's the number 891400. Yep, but it's a 72 tooth ratchet. It's pretty smooth. Back drag is a little heavy for my taste. Like I said, I don't use it every day. It's got the lever switches to reverse if you pay attention to the way the lever is the lever sticks up about as far as the stock the socket pushes through and it also has a locking flex feature so you can put it at different angles and then this button controls the lock and all in all it's about the same size as the palm of my hand and you know for some of these things it works pretty good